Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about, what card are we going to talk about? Inquisition of Kozilak. Let's do Inquisition. No, let's do, uh, so I'm going to do Inquisition and then Sanctum. Uh, let's do Inquisition first. Maybe we'll skip the Sanctum because that's more of a legacy card. Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of a legacy card. Um, Inquisition of Kozilak has recently gone up to $27 in price. This was a card when the modern event deck was printed. It was only, only $4. And I actually sent off one that was like, I think in the video, at my Patreon video, uh, that was one of the prizes you can win, but at that time it was like $10, I wanted to say. Now it's $27. Why did this card spike? How did it spike? And will it continue to spike or will it continue to hold its price? Now, Inquisition and Kozak did get a reprint in a modern event deck that I poo pooed and I didn't think it was good and I didn't think the value was there. But now the value is there. So if you can't get the event deck, buy the event deck, right? And because you're going to get, I think there's two Inquisitions. So that's like $54 already from just those two cards, which weren't supposed to be that high price. Now, Inquisition is more than Thoughtseize. And it's an uncommon, which I am very confused as to why they didn't reprint it. I know they want to push the void. I know they want to push the void, but you can reprint it in Modern Masters 2015 easily because at that time you knew like, hey, we're going to print the Eye of Ugin. Hey, we're going to print Ad Adrazi Temple. They could have reprinted Equinition at like common that seemed to be the pattern. Ayavugin went from Mythic to Rare. Uh, Aldrazi Temple went from Rare to Uncommon. And then they could have took this card from Uncommon to Common. That would be pretty interesting. And you might be like, oh, well, of course, it's too powerful for that. Well, you got Duraz and Distress. I mean, you have various forms of card removal, card discard at Common. I don't think that was a problem. $27, it, first of all, very good card modern. Very good card. I think it's as good as Thought Seize. Uh, in some matchups, it's way better. In some matchups, it's way worse. But that being said, you want to have access to both of them. The price spike from $4 from when it was uh, pre-printed in the dual deck, or the, not the dual deck, the event deck, all the way to today, which is $27 in some sense, let's say $28, a 700% increase in pricing. I think it's more reasonable than Eye of Ugin. Uh, the reason I believe it's more, not like, like reasonable, but I, I can see this card spiking more than an Eye of Ugin, because it sees play in a lot of decks. It sees play in any deck that can run black and will run Thought Seize. Could run this as a different, as you know, hey, I, I don't want to take two damage. I don't want to uh, go against a Taka Red or burn and take two damage. So the card itself is extremely good in my opinion and it fits various deck types. Um, so when you have something like the Adrazi deck, the Eye of Ugin is really just for Adrazi, right? Like what other deck is going to play it? Um, I don't know of any other deck that would really want to play the Eye of Ugin. But when you have something like, when you have Kozilak, Inquisition of Kozilak, any black deck can play it. It's very cheap, uh, very inexpensive, and it's just that good. So I can see a spike in that. Do I believe it should be reprinted? Absolutely. It should be reprinted because without a reprint, you're gonna see it at $27, which is what's happening now. Maybe more. Uh, people need it uh, as Ataka Red becomes more and more popular. People will want to play this more. And it's really that simple of a formula that the card is that good and will continue to see more play and it will do a very good job at what it does. So I agree with this spike, if you will, spike, more than I agree with a spike of something like Ive Ugin, which has already dropped significantly since that spike. Will this hold $27? Absolutely not. But does it have more staying power? Yes, it does. Um, so can't criticize this one too much. 27 seems a lot to me for uncommon that should be reprinted as you know a common but hey that's what modern is so if you guys are ready get ready for modern prices to spike soon very soon you know i Vugin is one uh Gadak teague is another one and inquisition of kozilak is another one but 
we're going to see way more in terms of cards going from $4 to $27, $3 to $30 overnight. Uh, we're going to see a bunch of these very soon. Bye, guys.